Welcome back to the Southern Ag Credit Halftime Show. Speaking with Vice President Dr. Jeff Long. Jeff, let's take a shift here. Of course, you've had your hand involved with this for a long time at Pearl River. I'm talking about athletics. So, athletic director, of course, moved up in another role in administration and uh, is vice president. But let's talk about Pearl River athletics. Full swing right now. A lot of things going. So many teams playing, of course, with the soccer team, men and women, volleyball, football going on. But there's so many other things on the horizon. Let's kind of talk about, while we're here, let's talk briefly about football. Yeah, I, I'm really proud of those guys. You know, we're in a battle today, and we knew, uh, and Carrie, you know, I got, I, I've got my hand in, in other things now, but I got a little – I spent a little bit of time late at night uh, looking at, at who we're going to play. These guys have nine returning starters on defense. I talked to Coach Smith this week just in passing, and, uh, you know, he told me, he said, how good they were on defense. So we knew we were going to be in a battle. I think we'll go in and make some adjustments, hopefully come out and, and uh, put the ball in the end zone. But – you know, so excited this last week because, um, you know, I've seen those guys on campus now all through the summer, even going all the way back to January when, you know, they really made uh, uh, it dedicated themselves to, to, to being better and having a better year. And, and I'm so appreciative of the hard work the coaches put forth for Pearl River Community College. And when guys work for your institution and they really put that at the forefront, you know, you're, you're really appreciative of it. So I, I'm so thankful for them. And and their families and what they do for us. And, you know, these kids are going to battle. We're, again, we're, we're going to be really good on defense. Obviously, we see this year our offense is going to come around. we got a big, strong quarterback that can that can scramble and get his yards. But uh, I'm really excited about the, the whole deal. We've got great kids, uh, you know, that, that show up for class. They do the right things. And that, that's, that's another thing that we're proud of and the main thing we're proud of. So I know that that's going to translate onto the field. already has, and we're, we're certainly excited about uh, – about them and you know we are both our soccer programs as you know carry and uh top 20 programs top 10 programs and uh we played a really really tough schedule i know we've uh, we've lost a game or two uh, on, on both sides really tough schedule top five programs that we played um but those guys at the end of the day uh, Coach Madsen and, and Coach Gallant do, do a tremendous job. They're going to be in it at the end. They always are. And I know that uh, we're going to be battling. And I'm so excited to see them go. Coach Chatham and volleyball. Uh, you remember when we started that program and we've we've really come uh, we continue to grow it uh, we grow that grown that facility we've done more things in that facility now which I'm I'm really proud of and and uh, that that's going to be a sport that, that continues to grow in the state of, it's it's in its infancy in the state of Mississippi but we've got more community colleges coming on board which we're excited about to be able to play some folks in our own state so We've got that coming, especially next year. We've added a couple this year, and then add a, a few more next year. We're we're excited about that, certainly. Um, you know, golf, men's and women's golf, uh, which we that program, which we just started back, and we've got uh, twelve uh, on the men's side and six on the uh, the women's side this year in our first inaugural season. Man, what a what a great job! Excited about those and Kobe Scarver leads that, those programs and. We, we continue to get interest from our local high schools and then from the surrounding areas for that sport. Uh, we we now have a facility for them uh, right there by the football football facility. And um, we're, we're uh, certainly excited to see where that program goes. But, you know, I do want to mention quickly, uh, guys that you work with, uh, they're up here. And I can't tell you how, uh, how grateful that we are for Patrick Oates, who's our – our athletic director does a tremendous job. Uh, Richard Gleaver, Dylan Dunaway. Uh, Richard's the one that is is really uh, you know handles the the live stream stuff, the setup and and troubleshoots and does a tremendous job with that. We have you know I always joke, but I get probably more calls sometimes on uh, the live stream than I do anything else. So, you know people call me at night and say, hey yeah you know this one little thing's wrong. You know Richard makes sure we get we we, we uh, fix that and get it right. So we're thankful. But those guys come. Um, you know, they show up like last week. I see them in Waffle House at midnight. They're there getting a bite to eat after the game. They're writing articles so that our fans and our, uh, you know, our stakeholders can can read those. Uh, they're providing. And I got a text message from somebody in, in uh, Texas that's uh, one of our Hall of Famers, and he, he texted me the other night. I was sitting in Waffle House with Dr. Brewwood after the game, and he said, man, I can't tell you how tremendous the live stream uh, the play-by-play, -play, the entire production was. I just want to tell you again how how proud we are. I said I can't take any credit for that, but I said I can. I want to tell you, and I named off all of you guys who do that. I said, please uh, keep those guys in your prayers this year. They're going to work hard and do a lot of work for us. But I said, yeah, they're the best in the business. So 
you know, I, I wanted to mention those guys and you, Kerry, and your staff. I, yeah, it just, just, we're so blessed to have you guys representing the college and, and uh, being a part of what we do. Well, I appreciate that. We're very fortunate to have Jason Pygan and Eli Oden on our team. Of course, Tyler Johnson, the young man who does a phenomenal job. I can't say enough about the job that young man's done in three, four short years of just basically saying, hey, I want to be a broadcaster, get me started. And we did. And man, what he does for us now on softball, on volleyball, on soccer is just first class. We'll make sure we tip our hat to him. Dr. Long, always a pleasure, my friend, to see you. Appreciate Thank all you. you do at the college, yeah. Perver Community College, a big part of the community, folks. So many good things happen. They start at Perver Community College. We'll